Let's play a game of If You Only Knew. Strangest fan encounter. Uh, well, I got off the freeway and there was, um, there was a homeless girl with a, uh, you know, a cardboard sign. Um, and she asked for some money and I rolled down my window and then she started freaking out and she wanted me to autograph her, her homeless son. <laughs> and I, 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 I wanted to be real, I had this instinct to say, well, maybe you should sell your flat screen TV uh, <laughs> that you watch my show on. Uh, no, I, I didn't know, I don't know what maybe, I felt it was, very, I, that's when you know you're, you're popular when, when you, you've. That's, that's a great, best part of being famous. Um, well, I like to eat, so you know you can you can get a good reservation. Um, and I'm Jewish, so you know I love doctors, and uh, they'll, <laughs> they'll see you very quickly. That's right, because they, they're you're very important, and you know. Worst part about being famous. Uh, the worst part is probably uh, the, the more you know it does become harder, I guess, to to walk around in on the street and with my kids, and I do like to look at how strange people often are, and, and now I have to. Marlon Brando told me that actors are better actors when they can observe other people. Yeah. Except when they're being observed, yeah. it's very hard. Yeah, it is, it is. If not acting, what would you be doing? Uh, probably music, I think, um, yeah. You'd have gone further with you. You could have been a concert pianist. I think I could, yeah, I mean, I would have. did you study? I, um, well, I only studied through high school, and uh, but I played jazz, and, and, uh, and, that's, and I love doing that, and I love playing rock and doing all those You had things. to play operatic stuff in the movie. For though. the movie I had to I had to learn a whole new genre, yeah, classical and opera. Is there something you believed to be true but wasn't? Um <laughs> Oh, uh You don't have to answer. It's not a court. It sounds so that's that's so sad. I like to believe in everything. I, I, I If don't... you could have lunch with one person from history, who would it be and where would you take them? <laughs> well, uh I'd take uh, maybe, how about Jesus to Nate and Al's? Is that good? I mean, he's ultimately that would be responsible. Home to him. And I know, I know, you know. I but know. that would be home to him. I, I know. And he I, would know all the food. I would like to just thank him. He would know all the food. He, he would, yeah. And I just don't know if he, he would ever got bench to. Tvillin. <laughs> <laughs> if you could switch places with someone for a day, who would it be? Switch, um, geez. Uh, well, it would be pretty interesting to. It would be interesting to spend a day in the life of, of the president, probably. I bet. I'd just like to see that. Best piece of advice you ever got about Hollywood? Um, somebody said in when I was in acting school, uh, I think it was actually, it might have been Francis McDormand, I think, said, came in to a guest class and said, I'm, I'm not any better at this than you people. I've just been doing it longer. Um, and I, there was something very nice about that, that, that it's, you just, you put in the work. Where'd you grow up? I grew up in Los Angeles. Oh, right here? Right here, yeah. Do you always want to act? Uh, no, I wanted to do, I wanted to do, well, uh, multiple, I wanted to be a basketball player until I found out that I was a short, white, Jewish kid in Los Angeles. And mm -hmm. then I wanted to uh, do music, and then, I, and then I wanted to act when I was, uh, Probably 16, I decided. I, with well, you, I, with I got your sucked in. Did you want to do comedy? Yeah, I did. Stand a lot. up. I did a lot of sketch comedy. I never wanted to really get on stage and and just talk. Uh, but I but I liked playing characters. Favorite Big Bang Theory uh, episode? Ooh, um, there's uh, well, there's one when they send me to this simulation. Uh, this, 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 they send me to, I have to go to space and, and there's this whole program where you, you study and they drop you in an airplane and I talk about what happened and vomiting and it's a, it's, it's a hilarious story about uh, vomit. Simon Helberg in 10 years. Uh, in 10 years, uh, be, I'm hopefully on the beach somewhere just lying there Collecting roasting. residuals. Yeah. As Big Bang is now in its 40th year of syndication. Yes, exactly. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.